I don't get it. I don't watch. I don't get what y'all are saying. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't get it, guys. Anyway, you know the sauce god dropped another video. We already watched it. I already watched it, but I've been holding out on this one because I knew this was gonna be a good video, and I said, you know what? Let me just wait. Let me just wait and then yeah, start streaming. Then I'm gonna watch. It. Then I'm gonna watch it. When suddenly I'm awoken by a strange feeling in my stomach. Oh no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. My stomach had the grumbles. It wasn't a good sign. It's a song from the Snow Baller Case. Okay. Today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. You gotta be ready to Ugh. break off some bread and. Uh -oh. You gotta leave a tip, bro. It, it just have some class. Just try. Do y'all leave tips in your country? I don't lie. In Ireland, we don't do that. Unless we are in a hotel, then then maybe. But in a normal day, if we if I go to a restaurant, I'm not tipping the waiter for shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. But then again, in countries that tip, sometimes it's out of common courtesy. But sometimes it's dead ass. If they don't get tips. They get paid absolute dust because they get they might get paid like four to six dollars an hour, which is insane to me. But yeah, to look like you at least you know got a little something about you, man. You gotta leave a good tip. But don't get me wrong, okay? This is not a first Jesus. date kind of restaurant. This is like a a nice little reward for good behavior on Shorty's part. You know, you don't just take oh, any, geez. any girl to get sushi. He's gone really good at the animation stuff. Chilies. Pizza, wings, and you work your way up to sushi, or else you're gonna set the bar too high too early. Next thing you know, you're buying Birkins for Valentine's Day. Don't know about that one. That is not the move, bro. So, right before the summer of 2020. All right, cool. You used to live with me in Austin, but when I moved to LA, they moved back Tiny to the state of Florida, and now they were gonna get their own place in Houston. So, feeling kind of like a Proud are those off-brand beats? Are a few years younger than me. I wanted to go and see the new spot, so I booked my ticket and made my way to H Town. So I get to their crib, right? They show me around, and I was quite impressed. You know, we spent the day catching up, and making TikToks. Now, of course, I had given Shorty a heads up that was for a week town, so that you know she could make oh, shit. a text. Here we go, boys. Gonna be free for the night, and then she said, "Come through as a go." I hit her back like I now I'm at her house, or rather, now I'm at her apartment. Uh, he man, y'all remember he man? So could see that Shorty was living pretty nice. You know what I mean? Oh. This was a pretty big high rise. It was looking clean. I was like, okay. All right, let's see what's inside. Then I see this petite little brown thing walk out to the front. She was wearing a black long sleeve crop. W. Jeans, short denim. Jeans. W. She's he's gone so much better with the animation. What? That's a shame. So we turn on some Netflix and then I let her. Da da dang. Y'all don't know about that Netflix.exe, right? Y'all haven't used that program yet. It's a beautiful coding language. That Netflix.exe. It works like a charm if you know how to do it, bro. If you know how to use the right coding language at Netflix.exe, bro. She be banging. There, no, I was feeling a little hungry. So then she's like, uh, I have some pasta I made earlier. I could heat it up for you. I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling like pasta right now. So then she's like, do you like sushi? Ooh, sushi. Shorty says she about to blow the bag on dinner. That's what I'm eh. talking she orders up the food on Postmates. We get a refill on the mimosas. We cut on the movie. Yes, sir. Great night. Begin. I know that I'm just another face. Baby, I know that Bro, the animation is different now. Turn this into baggage. Baby girl, she treat me like a habit. So, what do you think happened in between the time that uh, Young Don the Sauce got skipped? And you know I'm saying, I'm seeing a dude in the bed. I'm sure they just sleeping. I'm sure nothing happened. I'm sure it was all, you know, platonic, you know what I'm saying? But it might be cold in the mansion. Maybe she doesn't have expenses right. And, you know, she said, you know, we got to jump in the bed with me because I ain't got the heating on. I didn't pay for heating. The gas out. In my stomach. stomach had the grumbles it wasn't a good sign first i tried to go back to sleep my biggest fear and it's an irrational fear is blowing the toilet at a friend's house or at my girl's house or just at a girl i'm talking to's house 
If I ever do that, I have to leave straight away. I can't wait because I promise you guys, yo guys have not smelled bad. What you guys, you, you, you smell bad shit, but you haven't smelled shit that smells bad unless you smell mine. If I go toilet in my house, my top stairs, upstairs, the whole floor has to get cleared out. Everyone goes downstairs. Even if I open up the window, even if I use air freshening, bro. I don't know about you guys, but that shit tough. That shit tough for me. That shit tough. I can't lie to you. I'm hoping I could sleep off whatever this feeling was, but the grumbles only got stronger. Evacuate. I realized that I was gonna have to. You gotta go. So I carefully slid my arm from underneath her body. Kind of didn't even. No, but you did though. Come on, you saw the video. I wrecked her bathroom on her first day. Something was disgusting is gonna happen anyway. So I might as well get, tell my story. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have gone there, bro. You should have went to the toilet somewhere else, bro. Why are you doing it right in front of her? Yes. There was nothing I could do. This bathroom was about to be done, so. Oh, I over, nah. Turn on the shower. Yeah. Turn on the shower? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You turn on the shower so you can't hear. Woke, woke, woke. I turn on the shower and I just start praying to God that this girl does not smell what I got cooking, bro. It was agonizing one i couldn't make any noise like verbally you know and this was one of those dig your heels in and just grunt to get through it kind of dumps bro it was over the tank was empty and as soon as i was able i gathered my nah, that's tough climbed into the shower tub. i ain't gonna lie to you that's tough that's tough that's tough all right lucas is saying all of this but realistically right if you're in this situation what you actually do are you calling back in the bed or are you just carrying yourself home you're going home i'd rather go outside and shit in the bush bro this is like a like a 10 story apartment bro there's a chance that someone is going to see you even at 3 a.m bro if not someone in person someone's definitely going to see you in the security camera then report you and then drag you back to that girl and say yes this is my friend i'm sorry you had to stop him from taking your shit in a bush Imagine trying to explain to her that you decided to take a shit in the bush rather than just go in the toilet like everyone else. At that point, you might as well just go to a general toilet around the apartment block rather than go outside. Bro, I don't know, bro. I think I might have to leave that after that shit. I can't lie. I have to leave, bro. That's tough. I know myself. I know the limits of my powers, bro. I, I, I'm putting her at risk if I stay. I'm putting her at risk if I stay. Wash away the filth. I get out of the shower, put on some fresh boxers. Pro. Were you, were, were, did you have fresh boxers on you? Yeah, but when it's not in an apartment. So outside someone's house? I feel like that's worse. They gonna know it's you. Apartment, there's a lot of people that live there. It could be anybody. House? Unless they have my people coming in and out, they gonna know it's you, Lucas. I ain't gonna lie to you. Tip, always carry a second pair of clean undies when you're going over a girl's house. It's the first time you can choose between eating sushi and homemade pasta. Go with the pasta, bro. Shadi, I know how is this supposed to go? Been down this world before. You ain't gotta say to my face. Alison, I'm just another face. I don't think you guys realize because I don't show it, but I really like Young Down the Sauce God. I love his songs. I love his animations. I love all of that. He's part of the reason why I started YouTuber, even though I just be doing reactions. But sooner or later, I'm gonna be doing actually videos that I find value, value. I mean, I'm giving funny reactions when I put my reactions, but I wanna do something that's, that's mine. It's mine, mine. And I'll be doing that soon, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Make sure to follow us. Follow us? Click the link down in the description. Twitch.tv slash me, or two eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get me. Yeah, I did.